Let's get the latest from Sudan and South Sudan, where former South African President Thabo Mbeki is in Khartoum, Sudan, where he is engaging in shuttle diplomacy between Sudan and South Sudan. Now, this comes before the United Nations deadline expires for both countries to get back to the negotiation table or face sanctions. The deadline is Thursday. Delegations from both countries are supposed to arrive in the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa, where they were expected by Wednesday. But CCTV is learning that neither side has yet to arrive. Kofam Renje now reports. Sudan and South Sudan have until Thursday to return to the negotiating table in Ethiopia's capital, Addis, after the African Union and the United Nations gave the two sides a two-week ultimatum to do so in efforts to end the conflict between the two sides. However, none of the delegates from either side had arrived in Addis by Wednesday. In Kenya's capital, Nairobi, Speaker of South Sudan Parliament, James Wani Iga, who spoke during celebrations to mark 29 years since the formation of the Sudanese People Liberation Movement, says though his side is ready to negotiate, the North seems unwilling. I don't know what Khartoum may say to them, because if Khartoum has rejected that, for example, then there will be no talks, then they will not even call us. So it depends on the latest development from Khartoum. If Khartoum agrees, then I'm sure they will tell our people to move, and our people will move immediately. This comes even as the two sides face possible sanctions from the AU and the UN. If the talks fail to kick off and the sanctions are imposed, then the situation could get worse in South Sudan, as the UN has already warned of a food crisis in South Sudan blamed on the ongoing conflict. I will uh, continue, you, you know, also to appeal to the international community and uh, not to apply sanctions <laughs> on us so that we can continue to buy the little food you have because Kenya also may run short of food, although there are good rains this year. The two sides have been fighting over oil and oil fields after Juba accused Khartoum of stealing its oil. Most of the oil fields are in the south, which does not have the capacity to export the commodity since it stopped pumping oil through Sudan's pipeline. Kofam Renje, CCTV.